Hey YouTube, it's Craig here. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about four new pen cases that I have in my collection or that I've gotten recently that I'm gonna be using for say the San Francisco Pen Show, which is coming up in less than two weeks. I'm very excited about that. But the first one we're gonna talk about is from Galen Leather. This I ordered directly from galenleather.com and you get some cool stuff with it. They actually did send me a little extra pen sleeve as well. This is the Magnum Opus 12 pen case and I got the crazy horse leather in the forest green color. That's always the color I tend to go with from them. It is a 12 pen case and what's really nice about it, when you open it up, those little elastic bits snap open the back and it will actually turn into a bit of a stand over time. The front will stay down. Right now it's brand new so it doesn't really stay open all that, that well but over time from it being forced open like that the magnets will actually hold open it'll stand up on its own which is just really cool and you have 12 pen slots and let's just fill this up with some pens Venetia from Monte Grappa Sailor King of Pen Ebonite Mont Blanc 149 Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age and we'll put the Lamy 2000 in there Franklin Kristoff Andromeda there's the Pilot Custom 743, the Namiki Yukari Royale, this Night Scene of Pavilion. There's another one I haven't talked about yet, but this is the Namiki Yukari Royale Lioness and her Cubs, Pilot 100th Anniversary, the Namiki Bush Clover, and we'll cap this off with the Namiki Nippon Series Dragon and Clouds. I haven't talked about this pen yet either. Both pens in there for you, and it closes up very nicely. I still kind of recommend, if you're using this thing, not to like really shuffle it around too much, because it will slide around inside of the case. But what I do really like about this, this case, this whole sleeve slides out and now you can just kind of display all your pens that way. You have this nice felt line tray, be able to talk about your different pens and then you can just easily slot it back into the case. This case costs $159 from Galen Leather. I do like their products, they're not perfect. I wouldn't really store my pens in this case uh, just in case the leather or any of the the felt on the inside might stain your pens, but for carrying around for like a pen show, this thing is pretty awesome. That is the first pen case. I do like it a lot. Again, I if you are carrying it around or putting it in a bag, I would keep it upright like this, not sliding around in there but it is just such a, a nice case. The next pen case I'm talking about is Rickshaw Bagworks. This one is $50 from Goulet Pens and it has a great wave on it. Rickshaw bags are all made in San Francisco and they have this wonderful, soft, very plush interior. This would actually be a, a pretty good case for the Machier pens, but right now I'm just keeping like my Show Design full size in there. I've got this antique Pelican 400 that I got for Christmas from my mom. She found it in a drawer and she was like, here you go, here's a joke gift, ha ha ha. I'm like, it's a nice pen, mom, <laughs> thank you. So I got that in there. And typically, you know, this is kind of where my, put my Kaveco Sport in there. I'll put the Lamy 2000 in there and the Andromeda in there, but there you go. Got enough room for six pens. And it's just this really nice pen roll, pretty simple. They have a few different designs for these, but just really nice, really well protects your pens. It doesn't work very well for large pens. Uh, sort of same with the Galen leather one, it, oversized pen, it's not gonna fit very well. Really nice, easy thing. Grab a few pens, throw them in your bag. Beautiful piece from Rickshaw. The next pen roll is from the Superior Labor Company. I got this from 26market.com, which is based out of Canada, but I picked this up back in May. This is a very, very, very nice pen roll. This is the most expensive of the pieces at $169 but I've always wanted to get one of these. And of course I got it in green and it is just very nice vegetable tan leather, all handmade in Japan. What's nice about this is it does fit larger pens, Waterman 20 or like the Namiki Aya or Emperor. They do fit nicely in here. This is another large pen. This is the Franklin Kristoff Outer Banks Limited Edition. They only made 51 of them. Still have to talk about this pen, but there you go. Uh, there's also another slot in here that's a little bit larger that you can put some pens in a pen case or something. Close this up and roll it up. And then you have the leather strap that buckles in with a tang buckle. And there you have it. It is a, I'd say it's very nice. You can tell it does feel very premium. My only gripe would probably be the enclosure with the, the buckle system. I've never needed all of these holes. I don't know why this thing would ever get that big, but it was a pain in the butt to be able to put it through there. And then when you're not really using this piece, that strap is just all over the place. You know, it's it's just not the, the best enclosure. I mean, it's very secure, but it's just, this is just kind of, a, it flops around a lot. But 
but always wanted one. It's very nice. It holds big pens and I'm still planning on keeping it. It's not the most practical because it only holds four to five pens. If you have just a couple of really nice pens, it's a great piece, but not the most practical for carrying more than four or five pens. My last product comes from Utoko. I believe I'm saying that correctly. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I hope I'm not butchering that. It's an artisan in Kyoto, Japan, who specializes in making these little pen sleeves. These are like fine silk and linen single pen sleeves. I got this one custom made for the Chingin Dragon Emperor, kind of match it nicely. But I found these on a different YouTuber's page. It's a few fair things on YouTube. And he tagged this Etsy shop and I absolutely fell in love with them. So I have a few of these single pen sleeves and they have all kinds of different patterns, very Japanese patterns that you can get for these sleeves. But this is a pen roll video. So these go from between I think 40 to $80, depending on the material that you get. But then one day, pen roll popped up and I just had to jump at it. So this is a custom made large pen roll and I paid $105 for it. So it's again, uh, more on the higher end. We got the Chinkin Dragon. Here is the Namiki Aya, Franklin Kristoff. Why not, we'll pop in Waterman 20. And another pen I haven't talked about yet, but this is the Makie Dragon Emperor. Pop that one in there. There you go. This one doesn't have a flap on top that closes up. It's just the flap kind of stays open like that. But when you roll it all up and wrap the elastic around it, put it through. Really, it's, it's pretty safely protected in there. Like you can see the pens, the top of the pens in there. They're not gonna be damaged or anything. So you're not gonna have random pens pop out of it. And really you're putting this in your bag. You're not gonna be throwing this around or anything like that. These are fine pens and this is a fine case for it. It's just, just so soft. Linen feels so good and the microfiber on the inside. It feels almost like Alcantara on the inside. It's just perfect to protect those pens. You can even tighten it up a little bit more, but really beautiful case from a wonderful independent maker. It's really lovely packaging. This is another pen sleeve that I ordered from them. And yeah, it just has the little small details. Uruko, Kyoto, Japan, five slot pen roll, wool silk kimono, polyester and urethane padding. And then it has all the little care instructions and everything's just so fine and delicate. And I really love this. This is exactly what I was looking for to protect my large, Fine Japanese pens of which I have another one that I still have to show you guys. I'm saving that for a future video. So there you go guys. Here are some of my new cases that I have. I'm taking the San Francisco Pen Show with me. What do you think? Which ones are your favorites? Which one would you buy? I think my favorites are still gonna be these two. This one I do like a lot. I use and maintain this one. And this one is just, I don't know, you can see I tightened it up but that little leather strap is just a little kind of cumbersome. This is would be a great thing to carry around with tools, but as far as a pen roll goes, and for the price too, this was the most expensive one at $170. Plus I had to ship it from Canada to California, so it ended up costing a little bit more than that. This of course, you can't go wrong with the little rickshaw bags and finely crafted, you know, made for me, made to order, beautiful five pen kimono essentially and Galen Leather, you can't go wrong. They have beautiful products and they'll last a lifetime. Thanks for checking it out, you guys. My regular pen unboxing video will be coming out on Friday and I'm happy to do another accessory video for you guys here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this. And of course, check out my Instagram at Craig Rockanova and I'll see you guys all real soon in the next video. All right, peace.